Hi everyone, I'm Wu Hong Li. Today I'm going to present our work, Learning Multiple Dense Prediction Tasks for Partially Annotated Data, collaborated with Shelley and Hakan. Multitask learning aims to jointly perform multiple tasks within a single network. It is a core technology for smart devices, such as smartphones and autonomous vehicles. Compared with learning a single network per task, multitask learning has a more complete understanding of the world, shared computations, and higher efficiency. It also enables the knowledge to be transferred between tasks. Existing multitask learning methods requires all training images to be labeled for all tasks to learn the multitask learning model from them, as shown in the right figure. However, obtaining all labels for each image requires very accurate synchronization between the sensors, as collecting the data typically involves using multiple sensors to collect annotations for multiple tasks. So it is more common and realistic that the collected data is partially annotated. In other words, not all tasks labels are available in each chain image. For example, this image does not have label for task 2, and this image does not have label for task 3. To this end, we propose a more realistic and general settings for multitask learning, called Multitask Partially Supervised Learning, or MTPSL and we present an architecture agnostic algorithm to learn a multitask learning model on partially annotated data. In multitask partially supervised learning, given an image that is labeled for task 2, and it does not have label for task 1, a simple strategy is to apply supervised loss on labeled tasks. This learns multitask learning model on all images, but it cannot extract the task specific information from the image for the unlabeled tasks. One can extend the supervised learning baseline by penalizing the inconsistent predictions of images over multiple perturbations for the unlabeled tasks. But it does not guarantee consistency across the related tasks. For example, if we are going to perform depth estimation and semantic segmentation, and we know an area is raw, and that area in depth should be flat. To this end, we propose to leverage cross-task consistency to supervise the learning on the unlabeled tasks. To regularize the cross task consistency, given the prediction of unlabeled tasks and the ground truth of labeled tasks, one can use a mapping function to map predictions of unlabeled tasks to labeled tasks' ground truth space and align the map output with ground truth. However, this direct map strategy requires analytical derivation from task 1 to task 2, and it assumes task 2 can be recovered from task 1. Instead of direct mapping, we propose to map both unlabeled tasks' prediction and label tasks ground truth to a task pair joint space and regularize the cross task consistency in the joint space. This works for any related task pairs and learns only common patterns between task pairs. But naively modeling pairwise relations can, can be expensive and can result in trivial solutions. To learn the joint space mapping, one can use separate mapping functions for mapping predictions and labels into the joint space. However, the number of task pair mapping functions grows exponentially with the number of tasks. To address the problem, we propose to use a shared mapping conditioned on the task pair information. As shown in the figure, the task pair information is from task 1 to the task pair of 1 and 2. However, the learning of the mappings can still lead to trivial solution. For example, the outputs of mappings can be all zeros, and the gross size consistency loss would be zero. To prevent this trivial solution, we propose to regularize the learning of mappings by aligning the outputs of mappings with a feature from the multitask learning model's feature encoder. This encourages the mapping to retain high-level information about the input image. We evaluate our method in three datasets under different settings. Here, we show the results on the NYU V2 dataset. The dataset contains indoor images for three tasks, semantic segmentation, depth estimation and surface normal estimation. In each image, we randomly select and keep labels for one or two tasks. From the results, we can see our method that leverages cost size consistency by task pair joint space learning and conditional mappings, obtains the best performance in all tasks. And here, the supervised learning baseline does not use unlabeled samples. We also visualize the joint space feature map of semantic segmentation prediction and surface normal ground truth at the right column. The common information is around object boundaries, which in turn enables the model to produce more accurate predictions for both tasks. Thanks for listening.